Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you very much for joining me. Well, with the market seeming a little bit bullish to the start of this week for the Australian dollar, didn't quite turn out that way. After the market printed a high of 76.23, the market has tumbled quite significantly to a low of 75.71 this morning, or 68 more to the fact, and now looks towards the region of 75.55. At present, from the technical point, we have broken down from the stochastic and also from the RSI, and now awaits for the MACD to cross over the zero axis to support further negative sentiment for the Australian dollar. What could set it all off is a break of 55. Now, beneath there would expose the region of 75.15.25, with any advances on the day to fail towards the region of 76.15, with a firmer cap seen around 76.60.70. And also note, we are breaking beneath the level of 76.15, also from the 60-day moving average, which also should support further pressure into the coming session for the Australian dollar. The US dollar index has progressed slightly further to the bullish case overnight and now, in terms, puts the 116.90 objective back in focus again for the euro. It is viewed that break beneath there would give further concerns to the downside and look towards the region of 116.25 or lower towards the region of 115.45.55. With any advances, still sees a cap around 118.50 and minor beneath there or 117.80. Into tonight, we do have the FRMC meeting, and just be aware that the market isn't widely expected to see uh, the Fed hike rates by 25 basis points. Now, this comes in at, uh, at uh, Sydney time at 4 a.m., if some of you are prepared to uh, get up for the occasion. The dollar yen has still maintained its focus on the top side and now poses further threat of a break above the 50-55 level. It is viewed above there we could look towards the 111.15 region. In light of the current technical implications, we could eventually see this happening in the next few hours. Dips are likely to be shallow towards 109.85. Well, the pound hasn't been able to sustain or regain bullish traction, and from the weakness is now posing further threat to the downside as it backs further away from the 134.50 rejection, and now looks towards the target at this stage focused at 132.70. Reassess from there, as we could be looking at further weakness if we get further news coming very soon about the Brexit. If it turns out to be a harder landing, then we could see a move towards that lower region of 132. Uh, 10, 15. So that's so another 70 point or 60 drop. From a technical point, we are bearish and looking for the RSI and also with stochastic also coming through, could soon support this negative outlook. It would seem that gold is now waiting for the FRMC. And more to the fact is what the statement says. If the statement is very hawkish, then we could see further pressure to the downside. But it really depends on whether the market can get beneath the 88 support. If so, then this will give further threat to a $10 drop to 78 and reassess from there. Advances need still to break the 0607 level. But it would seem that the rejection from the $66.4565 resistance came in view last night after the bulls back away sharply and now look back towards the support seen at in the short term at $64.80. I believe the market could fall lower towards $64 to $62.4080 area, which is where this flag projects the target. Any advances should still fail. Well, that wraps up for today. Thank you very much for joining me, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the day that's ahead.